Grits and grills, everybody. It's time to tailgate. Hey, everybody, I'm Guy Fieri outside the Oakland Coliseum here in Northern California, where the Oakland Raiders are about to take on the San Francisco 49ers. Woo! Go Niners! Now, fans from all over the Bay Area are out in force for that great American game day ritual, tailgating. Just look around. I mean, the fans are fanatic about the fun. Feel the power of the dark side. And of course, the food. Lightsaber carrot sticks. Lightsaber carrot sticks. Raiders are number one. Which brings us to our battle on the blacktop. We've got two top tailgating teams with us today. It's gonna get hot now. You're going down in flames. <laughs> one from Oakland. We are tailgate warriors. We bleed barbecue sauce. One from San Francisco. Raiders are going down today. I mean, can you say rivalry? And it's just a matter of minutes. They'll be facing off against each other. How we looking, guys? And the clock. New towel, new towel. Fighting for the title of. Tailgate Warriors. One feature battle that goes on in the NFL. It's the Raiders and the Niners. The Woo! battle of the yeah! Bay. So let me get this straight, Niners. You guys come across the bridge. You're here in Oaktown. What do you guys think about the Raiders? I mean, they've got home field advantage. You worried about the menu? No, they're just like an expansion team to me. An expansion team? Oh! Niners, give me the rundown. Who's on your team? I'm Mike Jones, Barbecue Mike. This is my lovely wife, Sophina. This is Jermay, and this is Ern. These competitors are veteran tailgaters who decided to come together and form their own dream team for this competition. But will they be able to click? Oh, oh, oh! Master! And here's what they're bringing to the table. San Francisco's appetizers are NFC shrimp skewers and QB jalapeno poppers. The entree, tailor-made ribs with sides of gore corn and SF mushrooms, grilled mushrooms with andouille sausage stuffing. And for dessert, fourth down crepes. Those are crepes with whipped cream and berries. We decided to do our menu based around the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay shrimp, crab, jalapeno poppers. You can't get no better than that. The team from Oaktown. This is home field advantage. How confident are you? Totally confident. What do you think of these Niners? You guys going to beat them? Oh, absolutely. We're going to beat them like a drum. Going to beat them like a drum. Introduce your team to me. This is Beth Pigeon. She's the bad girl. The bad girl. We've got Uncle Stan, Barbecue Bob Boy. And you are? Kingsford Kirk Bronsword. Bad Boy! <laughs> For the home team, the appetizers are sideline salmon and abalone attack. Fresh abalone in a chili sauce. Oakland's entree is tight end tip. That's tri-tip with sides of arroz con pollo and bad girl beans. For dessert, it's chocolate penalty cake topped with whipped cream. We didn't want to just throw a burger on a grill or something like that. Anybody can do that. That's not what we're all about. We wanted to come out here and put on a show. All right, teams, here's the lowdown of today's showdown. You have one hour to complete two appetizers. One entree, two side dishes, and one dessert. Now, you're going to be judged on taste, creativity, difficulty, and presentation. Niners, any questions? None needed. Raiders, any questions? No questions. We got 60 minutes on the clock. Tailgate Warriors starts now. This is the Battle of the Bay. I'm not kidding you. I've seen some teams that have a rivalry against each other, and when it comes to Niners and Raiders, there's none bigger. Let's see what you got. Five rings. Remember that. Well, right off the bat, Oakland's got a big problem. The grills aren't ready yet. But the clock is counting down, and Kirk has to start transferring hot coals from one grill to the other, which is nowhere near hot enough. Well, when I lift the lid on my barbecue and the coals weren't where they were supposed to be to get started, I was like, uh-oh, this is is not going to be good. We're already down two minutes, guys. We're already down two minutes. With heavy winds whipping up, keeping their grills at the proper temperature could be a problem for both teams today. Check the grill. But so far, it's a smooth start for San Francisco. You must always oil the grill down. I don't want anything to stick. Barbecue Mike has their main course on one grill. Right now, I just put on my ribs. I want a little sear on both sides. And Jermaine drops the corn on another. Okay, I'm going to these off about 25 minutes tops. Now, the Niners have really put themselves a unique situation. They're doing ribs. We've got Dr. Barbecue Ray Lampy as one of our judges. I mean, this guy has seen barbecue across the country. Can they pull off ribs in an hour? They're going to impress Ray Lampy? Yeah, they got a lot to do in an hour. They better be yeah. tight. He and the other judges are not only scoring the final dishes, they're watching and checking in throughout the competition. Susie Fogelson from the Food Network, next Food Network star. It's a very ambitious dish, don't you think? Daryl Moose Johnson, number 48. Remember this dude playing? This guy 
is a machine. Dallas Cowboys fullback, three-time Super Bowl champion, and now he's a Fox Sports color commentator with a keen eye on tailgating. San Francisco, this is the first time that these four-member team has cooked together. And they may not have hit their rhythm yet. How are we doing over here? Jermaine put the corn on their hottest grill, and it's starting to burn. They couldn't kind of fast on this one. Yeah, we put the corn on this grill. Let's go, let's go. How are we looking, guys? But everyone is still moving quickly through their assigned dishes. We have the stuffed peppers, and we're going to stuff these mushrooms. So I'm trying to get everything all prepped up and ready for those. I'm going to put the garlic powder with the butter so we can put it on the corn. While Sophina slices berries for their dessert crate. Cutting up these delicious strawberries. I just put smoking chips on my coals so I can get a smoke ring around my ribs. Over in the Oakland kitchen, Kirk's checking his coals because, yep, he's going to cook a cake on the grill. Here we go. Power tools and a barbecue. Mixing the cake, baby. Mixing the cake. His cake will hit the small grill in no time, but the main course is nowhere near the fire. The tri-tip recipe called for cooking for 40 minutes and resting for 10. They better get going. Beth is slicing bacon to fortify her baked beans. Get that on the grill. While Uncle Stan gets started on the abalone appetizer. Abalone is the gem of the sea. You can't buy it. You have to have a buddy that goes diving for it. And if you don't treat it right, it could end up tough and rubbery. Trying to get the toughness out of it. But it looks like these guys know what they're doing. How are you doing? Prepping my abalone and pokey. It's a Hawaiian dish. The Hawaiian techniques that they're using. I'm so curious to see how they pull this off. And who would think that you would have abalone at a tailgate? I mean, I gotta try this. Ten minutes in and the tri-tip finally hits the grill. First tri-tip on, second off to the side. Smells good, Bobby. Here we go. Cake to the barbecue, baby. Cooking a cake on a grill can be a little bit risky. On the grill, like, one side can be a little hotter or the other. What they need to do is spin the cake every 15 minutes. We'll see if they do that. Okay, both teams are going at it. Had a little bit of a question going on over here with the Raiders. A question about the coals. Were they ready to put their cake on? I mean, trying to make a cake in a tailgating competition, they might be in trouble. Back at the Q Masters kitchen, Mike is keeping everybody on schedule. How's our time? How's our time? And frying up some bacon to wrap their jalapeno popper appetizer. We're looking good. San Francisco is also trying to work ahead on their dessert crate. Let's work on a batter now. But when we come back, they're happy. Welcome back to Tailgate Warriors. Here we are, Oakland Coliseum, the big battle of the bay. Two tailgating teams have 60 minutes to nail five dishes. They're all fighting to stake their claim to be named the next Tailgate Warriors. Teams, 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. One quarter of the way through the competition, and the Oakland team is running like a machine. How about some fresh brown black pepper? If you need anything, Seth? Nope. Doing good, doing good. Uncle Stan is already cranking on the chicken and chorizo for the arroz con pollo, his chicken and rice side dish. And Beth is working on her specialty, the bad girl beans. Already added the bacon to the beans. Just waiting for the veggies a little bit more. Perfect. Yeah, we're doing good. Just keep on schedule. I am on schedule. Abalone's already in and running. Oh, I feel good. Across the parking lot, a confident San Francisco team assures the judges they're on their timeline, too. Right now, my ribs, I'm getting pulled back on my bone, so now I'm turning down the heat of my grill. So you think they're on schedule? They're on schedule. I think the ribs are going to be real key. That's their entree, and in one hour is just really not long enough to cook ribs properly. Well, let's see if they can do it. Down the line, Mike's wife, Sophina, is getting started on the batter for dessert. They're making a crepe. If you can do something simple perfectly, it can be as good as anything else out there. But so far, it's anything but simple. We just need a fourth of salt. What about our sugar? No, we don't need any sugar. We need sugar in this. If you want to put the nutmeg in there. No, the sugar, the goes, the sugar has to go in. You need uh, half a cup. We don't need that much. I think whatever the woman says, it goes. Just as long as it's done on time, I'm not mad. We need that flour mix real thin. So we're going to be whisking for a good 10 minutes. Check your batter. My batter's nice and thin now. You need thicker, too thinner. Oh, no, they're supposed to be thin. We're having some issues because I think the batter is thin, and Michael thinks that the batter isn't thin enough. So as I'm whisking and staring and my arm is getting ready to fall off, it's still not the way that he wants it to be. <laughs> you know, we argue a lot. Well, husband and wife does not argue, okay? San Francisco's dessert is not looking good. And I think we were pretty concerned about those crepes even like 10 minutes into the competition. And that's not the judges' only concern. On the San Francisco side, we've got a lot of crossover going end to end. A lot of time that could be wasted. If you're talking about 60 minutes, the organization of this side seems to be a little bit better. Well, they're moving around more. The other guys all have their station, and, but that doesn't mean they're screwing up. I need that garlic powder. But, right. you know, it's, it's wasted energy in an hour. Every time you got to walk a few steps, it's wasted time. 
Over on the Raiders side, it's economy of motion. You can tell they've been cooking together for years. And these guys are running like a well-oiled machine. I mean, communication, stay flip, hitting the mark. I think they're on time, looking good at the Raider camp. Things are going fine right now. Timing-wise, we're all right. I've got three tri-tips staggered so that we present the best piece of looking meat to these judges today. The only question is, did he get them on in time? It's a 40-minute cook time and a 10-minute rest. Well, that sounds good, but they've only got one hour total, and that's 50 of the 60 minutes. They're going to have to get it rested for those 10 minutes to get it just right. Your try keeps working out? We're looking good. 40 looking minutes good. cooking, 10 minutes resting, you're going to make it? Yeah. Okay. The barbecue Bob's also in charge of making a marinade for the salmon, and it's got 19 ingredients, seven of them chopped by hand. You know, you can't pre-cut all this stuff because that takes the fun away from everything. But it also takes a lot of time away from babysitting that grill. Jerk sauce is done. Salmon's ready to go on. This is fresh Alaskan salmon that we have here. Beautiful. Now we're going to coat it with this Caribbean jerk mango salsa. And down the line, Uncle Stan is barreling ahead with the arroz con pollo. Doing really well. The rice is going now. We've got all the yeah. ingredients in. It's ready to go. Abalone is cooking about 18 minutes out. And Kirk's ready to check on his barbecue cake. Needs a little bit more time. Not quite ready. Another five minutes be perfect. These guys are stressing over here. You can tell. Oh, yeah? They say they're right on time. I've done two mushrooms. We have three more left. We have three more left? Okay. Yeah. Start cutting on this and do a sausage so we can get this all prepped and ready. We got more than enough time. And the judges like what they're seeing. I see the mushrooms and I see the jalapenos getting prepped. Two staples in the world of my tailgate. Tell me, what do you think about San Francisco? I like the easy portion of their menu where it's all finger foods. The tri-tip, the abalone over here. I don't know how we're going to cut that, how we're going to eat it, how we're going to do everything. Over here, everything is kind of user-friendly. So I, I like the style, the simplicity of what they're doing. And let's remember, it's taste, creativity, difficulty, and presentation. Part of that presentation is how easy is it to enjoy at a tailgate event. Because this isn't just a contest, this is an American tradition. Folks in parking lots all over the country every weekend firing up finger food and pregame favorites. Only for Raider fans, baby. Oh. And at the Oakland Coliseum, they go big. Three and a half tons of carousel of goodness. Seriously? Bro, seriously. So, brother, what's on the menu? We're doing a pulled pork with a Cuban espresso barbecue sauce. Listen, don't threaten me with a good time. Nah. <laughs> Not talking just white bread and jarred barbecue sauce. These guys made their sauce. They brought their smoking rig. This isn't Triple D, is it? Yeah! 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 Woo! Have you Go. That's money. <laughs> That's a crab stuffed tri-tip. Stuffed with Dungeness crab? You are out of bounds. Dude, that is fantastic. Isn't that awesome? But hang on. The question is, a whole hog? Absolutely. She's been going since 8.30 last night. You got here last night? And, and you started this? And we slept in the parking lot to keep an eye on her. <laughs> now listen to me. It's not potato salad and hot dogs. This is tailgate warriors. It's go big or... Go home. When we come back, our tailgate teams are doing...